has broken another all-time high record this week, reaching $2,600 an ounce. And it did not make a headline in the mainstream media. I was expecting at least CNBC to cover this story, but I haven't seen it, to be honest. If you have seen it, put your comments down below, let me know. But this has been one of the big stories that I think I should talk about this, because gold has been one of those assets that is keeping its purchasing power for thousands of years. Okay, We have seen other asset classes rise and fall, but gold and silver, these are the two asset classes that has been proven over the history that they actually preserve the purchasing power. Silver, maybe not, maybe not, but gold has been proven that way. Okay, And something happened in 2022 when Russia invaded Ukraine, all the Western countries, they collectively put embargo on Russia. They also kicked Russia out of SWIFT banking system. They also confiscated Russia's foreign assets that were actually held in other foreign central banks, mostly Western central banks. And this actually spooked a lot of other countries, thinking if Russia, one of the superpower, if this can happen to Russia, who am I to defend myself if something goes wrong with the Western countries? So all of those central banks of those countries, they started bulk buying gold, including China, Taiwan, Turkey, India, right? Brazil, all of those countries who are not really in the line of the US empire, they have been purchasing gold like crazy since 2022. And we have seen a major, major buying spree from those countries buying gold as a foreign reserve. So all of these countries who held their foreign exchange in the form of US dollar or euros or other foreign currencies, they actually liquidated those assets as much as they can and then moving that capital into physical gold assets. Recently, we saw a news article that Saudis have been buying gold in secret as well. And a lot of countries, they don't declare, like China doesn't declare how much gold they have they have held and how much gold they have been buying. So Saudi is one of those banks recently as well. They are not declaring and they are buying gold as reserve but do you know that bank of canada has zero gold reserve zero yes in 2016 under the leadership of bill morneau canada has sold all of their gold holdings all of them like we have zero gold reserve right now in bank of canada's vault now what does it mean it means the trust on the global financial system is kind of cracking okay other players in the global financial system are not really putting their trust on the U.S. hedge money. Okay, so they are diversifying themselves, moving the capital into physical gold. That means they're preparing themselves for a potential fallout. Anything would happen. I don't know. Maybe a reset, maybe a World War Three. who knows. But those countries are giving you a clear signal that they are diversifying themselves deleveraging themselves from keeping their reserves in US dollar and moving their capital into gold. That doesn't mean that gold, that US dollar is going to go zero tomorrow. It's a sign that countries are actually moving their capital into gold with a high percentage compared to previous years. Okay, I'll let you be the judge. And this is one of the reasons why the gold prices have skyrocketed. You know, some estimates shows that gold could go to 3,000 an ounce by end of this year. All is speculation, no guarantees. But, but if you look at the, the technical analysis of the gold price chart, it looks a perfect chart to further go up later this year. Anyway, you let me know what you think about that. If you're buying gold, let me know how much are you buying. In my opinion, every one of us should keep at least 10% of their capital, their, their worth, in gold okay just as an insurance not an investment just as an insurance if something goes wrong with the financial system you have something physical that you can hang on to it and that physical asset will preserve its value that's for sure proven by the history okay let me know what you think about that put your comments down below give me a thumbs up if you like this video and check out my newsletter as well that I sent out every week. So let me know what you think about that and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.
If you are an investor in the US, in Canada, or in Europe, and you are considering investing into Dubai real estate market, this video is for you because we have a platform called Stake, which allows you to invest into the residential real estate market and start earning rental income right away without going through a lengthy documentation process or coming up with a heavy down payment. Stake is built upon this the concept of crowdfunding so it is democratizing the entire investment strategy and, and allows you to own a single unit of the entire investment portfolio so you don't have to own the entire property right? you can be part of the pool that can actually own a piece of property a piece of real estate so that allows you to start with as low as 2000 dirhams and you can slowly ramp up so as you start investing into it you can not only own a bit of bit of real estate but you also get a portion of the rental income on a monthly basis so it's a passive investment strategy diversifying your portfolio from traditional north american or european markets into dubai which is hustling and bustling and growing very fast and allows you to build your wealth over time so so don't delay there is a link down there in the description if you click on this it will give you free 200 dirhams in your account right away to start with and you can thank me later